Hello, I'm Mike and I'm gonna explain some anatomy today. Uh, why am I doing this? Uh, well, th the main reason is that, uh, I don't know, I just feel like it. Okay, so in order to explain anatomy, you have to, you have to know what is gesture. In order to know what is gesture, you need to know what is anatomy and how humans actually look like in real life, which is a double entendre. Uh, you have to know both things at the same time and they have to be uh, perfected at the same time because these things are um, just linked together really, really closely. That means that I have a gesture drawing of this uh, character, female character, and the only reason why I got the gesture drawing uh, nailed down is because I know anatomy really well. M not really well, but relatively well. And I was able to make a gesture drawing uh, from from my head, knowing how how the legs are built, how the hips are sh how the hips should behave, how the head should behave. So yeah, but in reality. The way that I learned gesture and anatomy is through just simply put, simply understanding the anatomy itself. Uh, so I usually I back in the day when I was learning anatomy, I I made like a crude gesture drawings like uh, like these lines, like like just a line, and then I would uh, start building onto that line like things that I want to see in the in the in the like in the character's body, uh, build a pose not from the gesture but from the anat anatomical standpoint, which also works. But usually, uh, it just takes a lot of time, and usually you just get overwhelmed with how much things you have to uh, uh, take account for. Uh, you know, like there's a lot of stuff that you have to. Uh, realize before you actually start uh, making gesture drawings which are just you know a bit closer to the reality and it's a it's a acquired skill it's there's nothing really um, there's nothing really <sighs> there's no shortcuts to that okay so what I'm gonna tell you here is basically just things that you have to practice and practice all the time before you actually nail it down so yeah uh, but on this example I just wanna uh, tell you just give you a wide overview of like how I see anatomy and stuff like that so yeah the things uh, the stuff that I said about gesture drawing is really important but you learn gesture drawing through, you know, more anatomical studies and stuff like that. That will just improve your quality of life and improve uh, your uh, fluidity in your drawings. Uh, yeah. So let's begin with uh, the most important thing uh, in 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 the human body. You would you would. You'd think that I would start with the head, but I wouldn't start with the head, never, uh, because the head is just like, for example, this line is like a body, the, the, this ratio is, is the head, this ratio is like uh, uh, like the legs, you know, something like that. And the most important part is always the middle, it's the uh, rib cage and the hip area, You're, uh, the body follows the actual uh, the whole character of the body is actually based upon these two uh, things right uh, every time that you would like to make a study uh, you have to uh, first look at how how the actual rib cage is is uh, located and how uh, in relation to the hips and that way you'll be able to nail down the legs and then the head and then the arms uh, and, and the rest right so never start with the head head 
well, sometimes you can start with the head, but most of the, um, m for the most part, it's it's a mistake. Okay. Uh, it really depends on the shot that you're going for. If you can't see the the, the rib cage really well or the hip area really well, I would probably suggest you start with the head or 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 legs, I guess. But in majority of the cases you should start with the rib cage it will help you in terms of ratios if you f if you fuck up with the like the length of the arm or something you can always just uh fix the arm and not fix the entirety of of this right uh which is a whole lot better than just you know trying to fix everything i guess <laughs> so yeah uh the rib cage in this character is located somewhere around here. So, as you can see, the gesture, the gesture drawing that I've made already uh, predicted where the rib cage is, is located. I I all I kind of helped myself with that. But you know, uh, if you don't have a gesture drawing, you just like draw this egg egg thing, right? So this like I've made a shade here to. Um, tell myself that this is the end of the rib cage but you know uh, rib cage is is actually like something like this but there's also like muscles and fat in here which you know like 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 which which makes this this like little shield in here oh well, sometimes you can see it sometimes not and in this character's case it's just a flat plane but usually it's like uh, like two abs here but you know, let's not bother with that right now. So this is the shape of the uh, rib cage, right? Uh, it's a simplification of the anatomy because I can't really bother with uh, explaining how the bones go, how the bones work. Sometimes they'll do that where it's like really important. Sometimes not. So. This is the rib cage. It's like a an egg, egg shape, with like a like this sort of uh, I don't know I indent in there inside of it. I guess you know it's like something like this. Maybe maybe a whole lot more eggish. Yeah, like this. Yeah, this is is this is basically the rib cage. The thing is that. Every single person has a different kind of rib cage. Not in terms of, um, not in terms of, uh, not in terms of the actual general shape. General shape of the rib cage is always the same, but the actual opening in the rib cage is different. Why? Uh, because athletes have a, a much wider rib cage than. Uh, non-athletes usually uh, so this is like a rib cage of some kind of an athlete you can see that it's really broad and you can already build build a, like a, like this sort of shape onto it and you can see that it's like a really athletic sort of build in here that 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 supports this uh, rib cage I made it too small and it's also it's okay to fuck up sometimes like like you know uh so yeah this is basically like a more of a male uh athletic rib cage in here but yeah something like this yeah uh while this one is like a non-athletic sort of female rib cage, uh, the, the only difference is that you know the the the, uh, the opening in the rib cage, right? So something like this, like that, and yep, there you go. We even made like sort of a female female thing in here, else, even though it's like sort of broken, but whatever. So yeah. Uh, ah, whatever. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bother with, with this crap. Uh, hold on. My cat. 
cat is doing something. I don't know what, but it's loud. Whatever. And from that, you can already uh, start building character of the actual. Actual. Actually, I I made the rib cage wrong. It's sort of. It's sort of in the. It. It's a little bit. On at the angle, cause I made it like so, you know, at the angle, cause because the the this is like at the angle, and yeah, the the, the entirety of the image is like kind of sort of in the angle. I I made it like that, so yeah. So that means that this shadow was wrong. I I just lied to myself. It doesn't matter. <laughs> So, yeah. And that's about it for the ribcage, I guess? Like, it's really a general overview, but it's important. So, yeah. Uh, the next thing that you would want to build from this ribcage is, 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 is this sort of opening in here. It's like a basket hoop, which is like sort of bent down. But it's like laid on top of this. Uh, from from here, we can make actually this rib cage is a little too small. I've been making like rib cages that are a little too small for some reason. I don't know why. So yeah, from this uh, bent loop uh, hoop, you can uh, extrude out the neck. So in this cage case, I'm gonna go ahead and make this hoop and extrude out the neck and yeah as you can see on the gesture drawing the neck was a little too uh, well it was wrong but again gesture drawings are just approximations of stuff uh, it's really rare for for anyone to really yeah i'm explaining that to me uh So yeah, the, the gesture drawings are just just the approximation of where parts should be located at. So yeah. Uh, so after we made this hoop, we would like to make like this little necktie thingy because this is where uh, this is where our middle part of the um, of the rib cage is located at so yeah uh, this is where our rib cage is like exposed like there's no fat there's no uh muscle in here it's just pure rib cage and skin and a little bit of fat so yeah it's like this is this is the connect these and end ending points are connections of the uh actual muscles that we're gonna put later but not now but it's just important to realize where this connection is at right it's right here it's like sort of like like a necktie thing you know, which is funny so as we drew that necktie necktie we can connect from the upper thing of this necktie uh, two ha two biking bike handlebars. Since in my character it's like really, really um. Oh man, my cat is really. He's really at it now. So yeah, I'm gonna record this and put it up somewhere. I don't know, Tumblr maybe. Anyway. So we would we want to connect uh, two handlebars, biking handlebars, which are shaped sort of kind of like this. Uh, uh, to our uh, necktie, uh, these are you know our I don't know how how you call it, but it's like shoulder shoulder things okay this is this is very important everybody likes to draw these things but 
not many realize how they're shaped and how they should go in body, right? So this character has her her hands up in the air, so these bike handlebars are up in the air. We'll do the same for the for the uh, this. Well, I, I mean it's crude. I'm I'm making everything crude because you know I'm gonna just erase it anyway. So yeah, something like this, something like this. And most of the times I don't actually. Yeah, the clavicles. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, yeah the clavicles. I'm just calling them the bike bike handlebars, cause cause that's what that's what I always call them. <laughs> yeah, uh, the clavicles. Funny name. Anyway, so yeah, this is where the entirety of the hands will go to. This is the connection point between the rib cage and the hand. But we're not gonna go further up to the hands, but I'm gonna go down uh, to the hip area, and we're gonna have to realize we're gonna have to think how how by which means the rib cage is connected to the hip hip bones hip bones, right? Uh, it's the only connection between the hip bones and the um, and the ribcage is the spine, so we gotta have to realize how our spine goes, right? So we gotta have to draw like like the 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 the, the, the backside of our ribcage, like sort of this crudely, I guess, and connect, and and you know, this is where 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 the gesture drawing is actually helps a lot because we know how to bend and arc our um, our spine uh, so we're gonna arc our spine this way and this is our spine and and somewhere around here I suppose we're gonna make like this little tail end I'm gonna draw it in a different angle so this is the backside so this is the spine which goes a little something like this and a little something like that in here okay, this, this is like these are the clavicles and these are the bones Okay, they're a little too small, but whatever. It doesn't matter. Clavicles in here. So the bones. So this is the rib cage in here, and this is the spine thing in here, and this is how it's connected down in here, right? This is the this is the thing that I drew. This this one, and from here we are going to crudely, really crudely, we're going to approximate how our spine actually is positioned no oh, actually our hip bones are positioned our hip bones are positioned right so so this is where it bec becomes really hard to visualize uh, or tell because I'm trying to explain three-dimensional things uh, while drawing two-dimensional things right uh, I want to tell uh, I want to explain how how the how our hip box the thing that I'm that I want to draw, draw is the hip box is actually just a box which is like which goes something like this oh, it's a little too too angled something like this, uh, but in this position, the hip box is really in a really weird angle. Okay. 
which the hitbox here doesn't work because I have to build the actual hips better and I've made the uh the 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 rib cage a little too too big so yeah uh so this is the comment why I don't like to build um anatomy on top of my gesture drawings because I usually draw gesture drawings and then I just continue on with uh, more rendering and I don't don't uh, particularly like to make a lot of analysis about my uh, about the way that I do my uh, my things so yeah okay so just sort of ignore what I'm gonna do here because it's like Kind of a little bit too uh, too detailed for 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 now. Okay, so it's a little angled. So gotta make this here. Okay, so this this shape is is derived from the hip box. Actually, the, the hip box is the thing that I draw when I don't know how these hip handles work and how are they supposed to go somewhere, I just draw a hip box to uh, just, you know, approximate uh, where our stuff goes, right? So, so this is the spine and there we go, this is the hip box. I drew the hip box here a little too, too low, so I'm gonna fix that. Like this. The hitbox is actually sort of this shape instead of just a box. It's a top view, top, top view of the of this hitbox, and the side view of this hitbox is is a little bit slanted down. So yeah, so, but. Our hip box is actually uh, positioned a little bit at the at this sort of angle, uh, opposed to the um, opposed to the rib cage, right? So th this sort of angles, they're kind of opposite, kind of not. It really depends on the character that you're drawing, right? Because uh, men do not have such a angle. While women do, uh, it's the it's it's this is the main um, difference between the female and male uh, hips is that female hip box is a little bit more angled. That means that it goes a little bit further into the space like this, like so. It's a little complex, but whatever. I mean, I hope that you understand, because <laughs> this is a little, a little, a little hard to wrap your head around. But whatever, we just drew a box, right? So, woohoo! So, as you can see, the hip box is a little too crude, right? We can't really derive anything from 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 this hip box. It's just the information here stops, right? Like how the hell is like the spine supposed to connect to the hip box? Well, usually I just crudely connect it like this to the backside of the hip box, but uh, in reality our hips are not boxes, right? So if you really want to, um, I don't know, just make your life a living hell, you can always try and um, and start. Uh, detailing this hip box because our hips are are shaped like a like a samurai hat, you know, like 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 a helmet, like this, like this sort of helmet, right? But it's upside down. Okay, this sort of helmet, but it's upside down. Like 
the samurai helmet. Whoa, the samurai helmet. But it is upside down. So as you can see, we already like kind of sort of can uh, we can already see that it just sort of looks like our hips. If you ever felt like these sharp bones that stick out from your hip side, it's these uh, things that stick out from your hip side, right? But the back of this uh, shape is a little wrong. Uh, this is not how our hip boxes is, is, is made. Uh, this is not how our hip bones are made. Uh, at, towards the back, it's actually uh, arching towards the middle, you know, towards the part where our, uh, where our spine goes, right? It's, it's arched like this. And basically, these are the hips. And if you really want to kill yourself, uh, not kill yourself, but like, you know, make yourself, make, make, make your day not great uh, is to, is to start building the, um, the part where the actual genitals go. This is, that's the, um, part where both of these vertebrates uh, met, meet with each other, right? This is the part it, here. It's like... It's sort of like that. Excuse my crude drawing. And there's like this sort of thing here okay so this is basically where our genitals are at yeah if you, if you like if you care about it I don't usually draw that I just keep it in the back of my mind and that's it this is why there's like a sort of a little bulge where our penises go or our you know vaginas go and this is why you know This is basically how it's made, and this is like a belly here, like a really big belly here, and yeah. Yeah, so, whatever. Yeah, pubonic bone. Uh, Yeah. So, I drew like female hip bones because male hip bones are a little, not a not a whole lot more different. Uh, they're just not as flared out. Their their angle is a little bit, I guess, steeper, because. The hip bones, the male hip bones are a little, a little smaller, and our just a tiny bit smaller. We don't have such a big difference. The, the difference between the female hips and the male hips actually derives from the next part that I'm gonna explain. Uh, but let's let's get back to our hip box for now. Uh, so how do we encase this shape in, in here? Like, this is a box, this is like a samurai helmet. Uh, basically, we have our ending points in here, like, you know, these ending planes. This is the, 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 the edges in here are actually where our arching, uh, things should go to, right? And... And it should look a little something like this. And 
from there we can easily build up this this little uh, half a sphere thing here and basically this is how our sort of how our hips go uh, in the back there are a whole lot more things that go on uh, rather than just you know other than just that but if you really want to i can explain how the back how how the hips at the back work so uh you know these little beauty spots at the back of the at the back of the um back of the at the back just just at the back you know i'm gonna just draw the, a, a little butt here yeah and there are like little beauty marks in here Right. These are the bone landmarks where our spine ends and where the hip bones begin. Right. You you'll you'll be surprised, but these uh, marks indents are actually. Uh, not indents if you look at the bones if you look at the bones these indents are actually little small little spikes in here i guess not spikes but like you know things that flare out a little uh and at this at, at this place uh the 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 fat and the muscle they don't they don't it, the fat and the muscle doesn't grow in there and f because of that the fat and the muscle starts to layer at the butt here and uh and from that we have little dimples in there so that's how it works but sometimes there are special kinds of people who have like a rhomboid sort of shape like this where 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 they don't have a lot of uh, muscle and fat, that's why they have like a rhomboid shape in here, of of like this little rhomboid island where there's fat in here, fat in here, fat in here, like muscles and fat in here, like there's mu there's muscles in here and there's muscles in here, there's fat in here, but there's like a little rom rhomboid shape of just n no fat and no muscle in there. That's that's the little tail end here of the spine, right? That connects to our hips in there. So, as I said, these edges are the ends of the vert of the vertebrae of this of this head shape. So let's make a crude sort of like you know approximation of how it should look like in here. And we can see that it sort of looks okay if if our character is like really tall and has a has a really sort of strange shape to their uh, to their thing. Oh hey, what's up, Jack? So yeah. Oh boy. I thought that it's gonna be easy, but no. <laughs> Anatomy is kind of hard to explain. <laughs> Shit. Anyway, so after we do that, uh, we can go ahead and start approximating where our actual legs should go to. Like, you know, like the legs can't just attach like this. They are attached by the bone. And where do the bones go? The bones actually go to like a little place in here. Somewhere around here, there's like a little circle where the, like these like bony shapes things go. They look like wrenches, like like little half wrenches, I guess. I don't remember exactly how they're shaped, by, but they're like wrenches in here. And they, in, in females, they stick out really, uh, a whole lot more uh, opposed to the vertebrae so they stick out a whole lot more in females uh, 
while males they don't stick out so the vertebrae is actually the, the the widest part of the male body that's why males have like leg shape like this and females have a leg shape like this and that's why we think that the hips are wider right the hips aren't that wide it's just that there's like this leg bone that sticks out a lot and that creates this sort of uh, shape where where we think that female hips are big they they're pr practically the same as the female uh, as the male hips right and into those wrenches in here uh the bones go in here like a big really thick bone goes in here like one of our most strongest bones in our body goes in here that's the bone that that's here so we have our leg a little bit lifted up in here so let's approximate here. so yeah I'm not gonna talk about how it behaves in here because it's a little bit complex. Let's leave this behind. I'm gonna get back to it once I explain how the arms work, okay? Because this shape in here is really special. Uh, it's... Yeah, whatever. I'm not gonna draw it right now. I'm not gonna spoil it for you. So, in order to realize how our arms work, we have to know where our arms end. So, our arms end actually at the back, at the back, at our back, because uh, they just do. Uh, the, the whole structure of the arm is shaped something like... So, we have our ribcage in here. And yeah, rib cage openings can be like various shapes. It can be just like this, you know, nothing but a triangle. But it can also be like, like something like this or something like this. It really depends on how much, how much of a buff character you want to have, right? So, go wild, as I say. So yeah, we have our clavicles in here so yeah clavicles are just the connection of the arm to our uh, to our ribcage and we also have a special set of bones and muscles and stuff like that in here which is shaped a little like a pizza slice in here and which also holds our arm bone from the from behind and it just creates this sort of a circular lock in here just so our arm bone would actually you know connect to here and it will be able to just move in yeah 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 yeah, yeah. okay in in all sorts of directions creates like an access point where our arms can like you know can go wild not actually wild but somewhere around from here to here you know to 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 here yeah like this is like the range that our arms can swing at and that's the the connection of like this connection actually allows our bone to behave like that so let's let's try to look at in depth how how this connection works uh, from behind. So we have our our rib cage. This is our ha like handlebars. So, these are handlebars, and 
this is the point where our hand connects to. This is like sort of, sort of a little bit, sort of like a wrench sort of thing without a second, uh, second wrenchy thing in there, <laughs> I suppose. And this is the pizza slice that I've been talking about in here. This is a, we're looking at it from, from, from above. So, yeah. And this pizza slice, actually I drew it wrong. This pizza slice has a little arm in here as well. Actually, I need to... I need to look at one of my sources, Bamas, because uh, I kind of forgot how it's shaped. Uh, okay, hold on. Uh, yeah, also, use references, always, because I, I myself, I forget how, how most things look like in the body sometimes, because it's a little hard to remember these kinds of things. Uh, hold on. Where is it? Eh. Somewhere around here. Jesus Christ. Um, okay, let's look at my old sketchbook. I remember I, I drew these things out there. Okay. Uh, hands. Nope. Okay. Yep. Jesus Christ, there's so many. Okay, this is the part about arm, but where is the actual back? Huh? Eh? Eh, not here. Okay, let's look at the... Okay, let's go look at the George Bridgman, Constructive Anatomy. I'm gonna share the window in here. Uh, where is it? Okay. I think it's somewhere around here. Okay. Yeah, it's also important to um to look at the sources and you know study the from the masters, not just from me, because I just study from the masters and yeah, it's really important. Where was this? The hand, okay, okay, the thumb, Four, forearm, yeah, that's important. Yeah, this is what I've been talking about, this, this part, this little arm that holds the uh, arm bone in here. Yeah, so, yeah, there it is. I sort of lied to, to you guys. This That's how it's shaped. It's actually connected, connects uh, from, you know, like, it's it connects like this, sort of. <laughs> okay, let me look at better references in here. Uh, hold on. Let me find Bamas. Yeah. Basics, basics. Yep, 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 yep. Give me some. Give me some juicy ass uh, details, please, Bamas. I remember you had had this somewhere. Oh yeah, there we go. 
So there we go. This is the juicy part where we get to know a lot of juicy things. And I'm interested in the arm. And it's around somewhere here. Yeah, this is, there it is, there it is, yep. So basically, this is the clavicle shape along with the... Along with the back pizza slices. <laughs> I forgot how they're called in reality. And as you can see, there's a little empty space in here, which, which allows for like sort of like a grip of this bone here. Like imagine as if there's like a, well, let me just take a screenshot in here. And place it in here and draw on top of this, right? So. There's a pizza slice in here. There it is. It, it, it's sort of bent a little bit around the rib cage, sort of like this. It has like a this three-dimensional shape like that. And this is where our actual arm bone goes into, right? And it sort of kind of continues on like this. So yeah, I really suggest you guys to, um, you know, study some Bamis and, and some of the uh, classical uh, masters, which have made like these sort of like really awesome things in here. I, and like, you know, it's really important for you to you know, kind of understand how the body works. And sorry, I just get a little bit carried away with this sort of thing. Because it's like really interesting. Like, yeah. Jeez. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So, yeah. So, as you could see, the arm bone actually extends out like this and you know really like there's a lot of ways to understand how the arm actually works in this space in this uh, sort of section but I honestly am sort of kind of a little bit of a noob in here, you know, like, because, because I'm not that great at understanding how this, how it works, but all I know is that there are two bones in here, which, which go like this, and the other goes like, 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 like this, right? Okay, which goes like this, and the other goes like this. This is where our arm goes, and this is our a little bone thingy that we have in our arms, right? So, if we look at the arm, if we look at our arm here, This thing in there is this, right? So there's like, goes our bone in here. There's our, our another bone in here. And really, 
there are a whole lot of uh, sort of really complex connections I around this area. Uh, we know that the bone, we know that the main bone in here goes like this and then it just tapers down into nothing and there's like this bone in here which goes like this and connects in here. Usually you don't need to uh, specify how the bones connect in here necessarily because not like because usually uh, it's hidden by the amount of like flapping by the amount of like uh, muscle fat maybe tits that you know that you don't usually see that and yeah uh, yeah and yeah i'm just trying to figure out how her bones should work in here i i need to i just need a little bit of uh Okay, this is how it works. Okay, wait, that's not how her arms should go. Right, so I drew a hand in here. So, wait. So it goes up, right? So this, this connects here, while this thing should be here. Yeah, 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 yeah should be here and that's this is the two bones that goes in here that go in here and this is why she's got like things in here and this yeah yeah that's right so the hands are complex everything is complex like everything is complex in inside of our little body in Sorry, I got off off track here, but this is basically how I imagine uh, the hands, the arms, right? So we've got like connection in here and like a connection in here, which which go like this, you know. And in here we have our hand. And some bones, some bones in here, some bones in here, and there goes like our fingers and stuff like that. And yeah, this is how. Our fingers and stuff like that. Yeah, this is how the arm bone works. Uh, I always forget where exactly uh should this thing be at located at in here on here in reality like you know it, it's not that important but kind of is sort of but not really because we can just because how uh our because how our uh bones are located in here and in here we can twist our uh, our bones in here in all sorts of configurations, like like this goes in here, and then this goes under it, and we have like a, this helix shape in here, which looks really really uncomfortable. But this is what we do on a daily basis, and we don't really think about it that much. <laughs> but yeah, our hands our arms do twist in a helix motion in here quite a lot. Uh, usually when we... when we have our palms 
uh, facing down to the ground. That's usually when uh, when this shape is made. But when we yeah, but when we face our palms outward. Uh, yeah, outward towards the ceiling, we have a more uh, default position where our bones are in sort of this configuration. And yeah, it, it requires a lot of uh, brain thinking to really understand. I myself don't necessarily understand a whole lot about it because I'm I'm not that great in anatomy honestly but yeah I just like to draw humans a lot and that's what I know so yeah basically the same thing goes in here and yeah so now I promised to explain knees and knees are a little are a thing that I despise and hate. Just, just, just I just fucking hate it. Like, cause the knees are hard. So basically, as I said, there's like a wrench thing here, uh, which connects the bone here, and this bone goes all the way down in here, and it has like this yo-yo shape in here. Yeah, it's a really weird yo-yo shape. Uh, basically, this is the end of the bone. And... Yeah. This is the shape that it has. Okay. It has this yo-yo shape. Okay. Uh, yeah. And then, let me get get a reference here, because I, I, I really do hate knees, and the knees are my weakness. Whew, yeah. So yeah, actually, the in reality, the circle is not that circular. It's a little something like a ellipse in here, which is like, sort of like this. And then, in the bottom, there is, just simply put, just simply put, like, this sort of little platform in here, which tapers towards the, uh, towards the knee, it tapers, but, yeah, so this little platform. It's completely flat. It's like, yeah. And we are going to build a little width to this platform, like this. And then, once we build that, we're gonna attach a little triangle in here. But, towards the end, we're gonna slash the tip and add sort of this uh, thing, <laughs> right? So we have this sort of shape. And from the this uh, edge, or not the edge, but this 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 tip, I guess, of the of the platform, we're gonna extrude out the actual bone that we usually think about when we think of bones right just just a bone in here but in here we're gonna we're gonna connect this uh, with like a little angle in here and then continue the bone okay so yeah this is basically how the knee works, but there's also like a little separate, separate triangle in here. It's completely separate in here. 
this triangle. No, it's a little bit more. Yeah, this little triangle here. That's our kneecap. Uh, yeah. It's completely separate. It's like floating around, connected by our muscle tissue and stuff like that. It's really hard to visualize because it just floats around the 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 the, the leg, and it's like, you know, just 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 floats around, you know hard to predict where where it can where it can be you know where it can go so, yeah. okay. so that's about it you know for the uh kneecap but but uh our legs have another bone which I'm gonna illustrate, I think, in here. I'm gonna try to illustrate in here, but yeah, I'm not gonna. No. Uh, I can't really say for sure. Uh, I I drew the 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 leg wrong. Let me just fix the bone in here. So it goes something like this, and then there's this platform, which goes here, and then there's like this, and then like this, and then it goes way down here, which also which then connects like a wrench in here. Connects like a wrench in here. Yep, that's where there's like a little ball in here, and then there's like a whole shebang with the with the uh, feet in there. So yeah. Okay, so that's where our thing goes. Yeah, that's where our thing goes. But there's also a second bone in there which connects to the back of our platform somewhere around here. It connects to the back of our platform and and forms like like there's a wrench in here, but it's secure but it secures the ball of the foot only in one place. But we can't really uh move our feet that well in this direction, you know. Uh, the 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 reason why we can't do that is because we have a special bone in here which which holds our ball in, in this sort of you know in here like that and we have two bones that basically hold our foot in place like this you know and basically the same the same goes in here and there's a thing in here yep something like this i don't know i really doubt that somebody really understood what I what I just said but <laughs> whatever I'm just doing this for fun so yeah oh boy that's a lot of notes so yeah but that's basically the skeleton why I don't do the face is because the face and the head 
in this particular uh, example is kind of bad, you know. Uh, she has like this sort of anime face in here, which I cannot really explain anatomy with, okay? But this is basically how I make the body, and basically, yeah. The, the feet are, you know, I, I, I don't bother with the feet and the hands, the actual anatomy and the structure of them. Unless uh, I have a picture where I have like a uh, a close up of the hand somewhere, because usually hands are and feet are e e either in in a shoe. N well, the hands are not in the shoe. Hands are usually either hidden or they're like you know just made with a gesture. You know, they usually. Are, Usually I don't uh, structure my hands that well. I, I just, you know, I just solve the problem with a gesture. Uh, I just approximate how the hand works. And that's about it. Same goes for the feet. Uh, unless I have to make a close-up of the foot. I don't usually uh, build up the foot that well. And I don't really know how how the foot works that well as well I just I know how it works but I just I'm just t too lazy to bother with that and I just don't usually uh, I don't know detail it that well and usually I just, just I just don't show the feet because I dislike drawing feet and whatever I guess next time I'm gonna explain how the actual muscles and the fat goes on top of the the structures that I've explained uh, someday. I don't know when, but doesn't matter. <laughs> Hope that you enjoyed this crap, but I am going to go ahead and take a little break, and then I'm going to just stream how I detail this lady here. It's a commission that I have to do, so yeah. Goodbye.